How do we inspire and show a passion for the subject that we teach? My name is Jonathan. I'm a current high school math teacher at Goldstone High School. And I think it's a great question to unpack because there's so many things to look at there. One of the most important things to consider in terms of um, inspiring the students that we teach is, well, really to think about them. Uh, because at the end of the day, uh, every school is different, every teacher is different, and ultimately every student is different as well. You can uh, launch water bottle rockets to see the trajectory of a parabola. Or maybe your students just want to get up and moving. Some kinesthetic movement to see how we can um, do translations and shifts um, in the Cartesian plane with various functions. This is your x-axis here. This is your y-axis, alright? Start off. One, two, three, let's go. Yeah! Yeah! Wait, sir, let's make two. Next up. Put it in good line. This way. This first lesson talks about how mathematics can be a bit of uh, magic. Hey, you two, pick a number between 1 and 30. Don't show me, but draw it on a big piece of paper and show it to the rest of the class so everyone knows. Is it here? Yes. yes. Are you sure? Yes. Yeah. yes. Is it here? No. no. Again, the only page that you saw in was this one. Is that right? Yes. Yeah? You guys must really like single digit numbers. Is that right? It is a single digit, right? Yes. Would you say that you like to be first at things? So is it the number one? Yes. yes. What? How does that work? Math, math sometimes is a bit of magic. Sometimes we see things that don't make sense, Mannix. But if I can show you how it works, or if someone can figure out how it works, then it all starts to make sense. Cassie, you asked me why do we have music up here? Um, this is probably the last place you'd expect to see trigonometry, but for those of you who do physics, you know that the sounds that we hear, the sounds we hear, they can just be broken down into waves. We can actually realize that they model these trigonometric relationships. If I change the slider, you can see that as it gets kind of skinnier, right, it gets to a higher pitch. And then I go back down again, and then it stretches out. A certain amount of ratios of these waves, right, create a really nice sound, like a, your next pop hit. But if you create a different ratio of them, it will sound like a five-year-old piano recital, something not so good, right? So when you're finding these unknown angles and sides, realize there's actually a greater, bigger picture and purpose to actually doing these operations. So that's just a bit of a snapshot into my classroom and how I teach. I'm excited to continue exploring how we can uh, inspire students in the classroom um, as they continue through their learning journey.